insert head jokes here. Apparently, Gaga seemed to suffer from some kind of identity disorder. What do I mean by that? Let's go over Gaga Head's effect. Okay, so it's 21 attack, 21 defense, you know, it's stats are pretty meh at best. So, you know, that, that doesn't really matter, I, I don't care. It's a level 6 spellcast, okay, that right there is a red flag. Gaga's running level 6s, that is never good. Okay, so it's summoning conditions, is that when it's normal summon, it becomes a level 4. When it's normal summon, you can target up to 1, maybe 2 Gaga monsters from your graveyard, special summon them, and you cannot special summon for the rest of the turn except for exceed summoning. Meaning that you gotta overlay those three or two, two of the three guy guys on the field. And once you do that, the added bonus here is that you get the old draw upon exceed summoning effect when this card is used as a material. This is the Galaxy Knight of Gaia guys, ladies and gentlemen. Except unlike Galaxy Knight, this card wasn't given an anime restriction from Konami. In the case of Galaxy Knight, you know, you gotta target the dragon, the actual Galaxy X Photon dragon. It can still be normal summon, okay, that part is not bad. But with the case of Gaga Head, it's not just one target, it's two. Now, I know a lot of people have said this before. Gaga Head is by no means game-breaking. The only thing it's going to do is make them a little bit more playable, which is something that Konami should have done from the start. I mean, one would think that with the release of Sister, you know, a year after people stopped caring, then maybe that would have been it but you know it, it could have been worse konami could have just said that you know, okay you know when you revive these two gaga monsters from the graveyard their effects are negated meaning that you would have no other choice but to revive two gaga magicians which brings me to the identity disorder thing i said earlier are gaga supposed to be you know this le level manipulation deck or is it supposed to be another generic rank four toolbox deck because, you know, Magician, Girl, Child, and Sister all kind of made it clear that, you know, hey, you know, we can go into Felgrand, you know, we can go into Dracosec, we can go into fucking Rank 10s, you know, the things that, you know, trains, and, you know, you forgot about trains, and, you know, we can go into them. But Konami's all like, no, 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 you, you get over here, you overlay yourselves into this Castell, this 101 Exiton, okay? Like, they're more important, apparently. That's why I said the effects could have been worse. When heads already normal summon as level four, if you're gonna exceed summon, if you know, because you can't special summon for the rest of the turn when you use that effect, then you'll have no other choice but to revive the two, one or two level four Gaga magicians in the grave and go into, I don't know, Utopia. Now, don't get me wrong, okay? Gaga's are a fun deck. I made a deck profile of them a year ago. My brother had it before me, and then I had it. And as far as I'm concerned, I think there's only one more person in my locals who's actually interested, legitimately interested in building the deck. It makes Gaga a little bit more playable. Competitive? I can't really say it, but you know, I could be wrong. And that's what pisses me off about Gaga is that even Konami doesn't know what this deck is supposed to do. See, the way I see it, Gaga unlike other decks, they have two different strategies. You know how when you draw into your first five or first six when you go second, um, you usually have, you know, maybe one or two strategies ready to go. But you could do one of two moves when you just by looking at your entire hand. Well, Gaga's had that same thing, except their problem is that instead of going into one move and then going into the other, should case B, if move A fails and, you know, plan B is right around the corner, or they just move on with plan A and plan B can just be, you know, for the next turn. Instead of doing any of that, it's either or. You do one move, you cannot do the other. It's basically to rank four or not to rank four. That is the question. Look at the Gaga Xyz that were released. You know, you got Cowboy and you got Samurai. Both of them, guess what? Rank 4. And yeah, they're good, but you know, what does it do for Gaga's? Look, rank 4s are obviously good. That's two level 4s. They're so simple to get into, but maybe that's why Gaga's benefit off of them. However, Gaga's can also benefit from, you know, the big guys as well. Decks like Telenites, Evil Swarms, and Trap Tricks, you know, Bougins, a lot of them can go into rank 4s, but, you know, that's because they, they have the strategy to back themselves up. Gaga's do not have that same strategy. That's why they need these big monstrosities with high attacks and high ranks and high levels just to get by because that's the only way that they can compensate for their low stats. It took Gaga like three years to get their own searcher and that's and this deck is older than a lot of the decks that are around now. So to end this video, Gaga Head can do a lot of things for this deck. It can make it a lot more playable, more fun, more, uh, more agile actually. As far as the competitiveness of the deck goes, with the addition of this card, I cannot say. I'm going to go with no, 
But at the same time, I still, I just cannot say anything on that. I, I just don't know. Which is exactly what Konami said whenever they're asked, what is this deck supposed to be? So what do you guys think? Are Gaga supposed to be this rank 4 toolbox deck or is it supposed to be, you know, something else? You know, they had the talents to do so. They have the level manipulation, the effects, the playstyle to do so much. But should they be regarded to just, you know, the rank 4 scene? Let me know. Thank you for watching. Lights out.